So from now on, I'll try to parameterize your drawing and I will start the T0. If you know how to, to, de how to define T0, you probably know how to define all the other points and you have to do is actually draw curves on top of that. So how can we get T0? So we want to extract the values of X, Y, Z and then we are kind of define X, Y, Z and then reconstruct a, a new point. So here in vector point you see the second one here deconstruct if I click it this will extract X Y G value from a point I will delete it so I will connect P0 and let's check what's in X, Y, Z using panel. I will use Ctrl C and V. I will have three panel to see the all three values. X is 1.5, Y is 14.26, Z is 0. And I will copy and paste. And I will connect it to our second point Let's see I'll bring it near here and then you will see that x is 11 y is 12 also g is 0 to reconstruct we need we are going to use this one this one is construct point and here let's say that this one is x plus some kind of d so I will use mass, so probably operator plus. So I will add A plus. I will probably use this one, extract parameters. Then actually you can extract B and you can set a value here, set a data item and simply type, let's say 20 and always when you uh, set a value for kind of from an option, always click commit to change some green button. Otherwise, it will not save your selection. So after you change a value, you have to click this button. Then the result is, okay, let's check what is the value. Panel. The result is 21. And then probably this one, you may not like it. I type, instead of using this, you probably like to use slider. Actually, this one is number slider. So I type number. Then you will see number slider. And then you may want to connect it. And then you can decide number. And then you may want to change the minimum and the maximum value. Uh, changing value by using go to values. Minimum is zero now. Maximum, I change it to, let's say, 100, which is 10. And always click the right button, otherwise it will not save. Click the green button and also commit change button. Then actually you will see the value is changed. So original was 1.4. When I increase it, this one is 4.55. Combine these two numbers. Okay, now the X coordinate is changed and probably, okay, instead of, I used actually the connect right end to here. Actually, I don't recommend this one. Instead, I will recommend for it to connect directly from the point. Just panel is just make it as kind of like just additional thing. So now, now I, I reconstruct y is actually y plus the, but i just simply use it y but you can you know what to do with that so now i create a new point which is parameterized to our p0 but y2 probably p0 uh, p0y p3y you probably want to find the middle button so this one y is dependent on these two but this is how to parameterize your drawing so after that you have a lot of points Simply, you can just use 
uh, curves or simply use lines. So like you have straight line or curve. But this is so this is how we kind of like create parameterized geometries. Quite easy, isn't it? Not nothing unusual. Oh, again, very easy. But this is not the end. So this one at the end. Maybe little task will have a long, long, long sequence of grasshopper, which now is just kind of cause you a lot of problem. So we need to refactor it. <coughs> so I first refactor it using groups. So what is the first process we did? So I called it using in the parameter utility. There is a scribble function. So I click scribble. And I kind of write a comment here. So I'll first write down overall comment about it. What should I write down? Author, my name, date, purpose, demonstrate uh, basics of parametric design. And also important input, input, uh, for base point output uh, parameterized curves so this is overall comment about this code and then I just uh, write somewhere outside top corner so I'll see that what is this code is about I will do scribble again I think now it's 15 but I will double check time what time is it? Nine, it's, it's one nine, so we have six more minutes. This the time is not correct. Oh. This is this is nine oh six. Okay. <clears throat> so now I will add one more. The so first one I would rather type step one set for base points right here and then I will group them everything here and I will use edit and group so now that you realize that this one this all chunks of code is about setting for base point so clear algorithm is better so I don't actually in general I don't really see your code rather I just read your comment so from now on uh, every day when you write your uh, grasshopper code you have to comment and refactor using groups and then what is the second process second one is step two Uh, draw lines from four point and then I will select everything here okay, I'll just move around the other ones and I'll edit group so now this one is all about draw lines from point and if the last one is actually extract point so now I'll write down here actually the all these things about actually probably I just simply grouping this one and then I'll write down here as this one I call this step 3.1 parameter rise the first point and I select these so far these things and I'll group them and then I will save it so this one is parameter demo So I type this with groups. And probably I will group this one later for the second one. 
So this one is your first refactoring. And please, after doing this, save it and upload our class server. Do you know where our class server is? Go to courses, arc, miami.edu. And then actually, there's already folder, lighting, and upload your grasshopper code there. You every day, you have to upload two grasshopper codes. This one is the first one. Second one, I'm, this is our second refactoring using cluster. So after you use this one using cluster, then if this one make it one your own icon, you can use it later after that. Uh, if you go to display, actually you can add the user later. And actually this one is just exactly like something like your components. So now this one is creating your own component. Then I will make this one as uh, create four point. Very simple. And now you can understand the output one locally defined value. So this is the output. And now I would cluster this one, edit cluster, probably here. This one is, I called it draw curves of input point. And now I'm going to this one again, extract and cluster. Now this one I called it uh, parameter uh, first point parameterized. And then actually, sometimes you will have a problem when you do this. You will experience that some, you do see that lines are actually uh, disappeared. The reason why doing this one is, this one when you cluster that, it kind of delete some temporary data. To prevent that, actually I'm going back to, I'm going to Z again. What you have to do, you have to make an output The reason why I ask you to save both the files, group and cluster, is that there is no way go back to uncluster your file. So that's why I recommend you to save your file, two different files separately. But still, there's a way. The way is actually go inside your cluster, double clicking them. If you want to go outside, click save and close. To go inside, double click it, the, well the name bar. Copy everything, Control C, come outside, and paste it here. Then actually you can reuse that. Uh, okay, before you cluster that, whatever the things that you have to make sure is, the end of your cluster or group, make another agent, which is if the output is point, I type I add a point here and then I connect it. This can be a temporary collector of your output. And I just cluster. So this cluster has input and output. Then actually you will be safe. But the first one here, draw curves, is actually when I click it, it shows the, the curves. But actually when it actually comes outside, actually it deletes the whole curves. To prevent that, actually, you need to draw, you kind of need to add a curve here and actually connect it. Okay, I will show you again using the other file. So recent file, coming back to parameter. This one is kind of automatically saved. So, okay, so kind of like next time you do that, Always make sure that you can you save some kind of output here. So prevent any kind of deleting it. But probably this one can have some way to set output. So this is so far. So to 